What's up guys, my name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so. Hit the notification bell button as well. And if you guys like hair content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that will allow me to know that you guys are into this type of content and it just keeps me going. So thank you so much for hitting that like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell button. So today what I have for you guys is another great hair video and this is going to be tailored for someone whose hair is still intact. You didn't cut your hair during quarantine. I know it's been super tough trying to maintain your hair, maintain sanity with your hair. And some of us have gone to great lengths, like actually taking a step towards cutting your own hair. And maybe you did a good job, maybe you didn't. But if you do have hair still, then this video is gonna be for you because what I'm gonna share with you guys today are tips on how to continue to grow out your hair because I'm totally loving and digging uh, my hair length right now. So I feel like when things start to open, when I'm able to get a haircut, it's not necessarily all gonna go away. So that's why I figured I'd make this video for you guys to share with you guys exactly what these tips are and what I'm doing right now to actually create a very seamless and smooth process to letting my hair grow out without necessarily feeling like I have these awkward stages or my hair feeling or looking very unhealthy. So let's go ahead and begin this video right now. So what I'm doing right now, especially that I have time, is I'm really trying to take care of my hair follicles and my scalp and I wanna make sure that during this process, me letting my hair grow out, I'm not going to feel very anxious or feel like the process is very difficult because when my hair is looking healthy and feeling healthy, then I just feel like it's just all that much more worth it to keep going. So the first tip that I'm gonna give you guys that I'm doing is using a hair oil. And the thing about hair oil is that it is going to allow your hair to look good and look healthy. And also, if you do have very dry hair, then this is gonna help you maintain a little bit more moisture. If you have curly hair and you wanna let it grow, you're definitely gonna need some uh, moisture in your hair. So not only are you going to keep your hair healthy, but it's also gonna feel great. And also, if you feel like your scalp is a little oily, but you feel like the tips of your hair are fraying, then all you have to do is apply on the tips of your hair. Because if you apply too much on the scalp, then your hair could look very greasy and could weigh it down. And that's exactly what we don't want. So it's very important for you guys to find something that works for you. Now the next tip is to make sure that you are cleaning up the edges, the edges of your hairline. You don't need, you don't really need to have very bulky and unmanaged hair around your ear. So it's very easy to clean that up. And it's also something you guys could do if you guys learn for yourselves uh, or have someone do it for you. But this really takes away from feeling like that awkward stage is kicking your ass and it also helps you just navigate a little bit more easier throughout the process. If you guys have seen my latest video during this quarantine, that's exactly what I'm doing. I've just been outlining and trimming around my ear and down my neckline just to make sure that my hair at least looks a little bit more presentable and manageable and therefore that makes me feel very good and comfortable with having the messier, longer hair. Now the next thing is more of an annoyance when it comes to having longer hair. I know I feel it when I work out and it's something that definitely takes away from me wanting to continue the process of growing out my hair, which is having your hair just flopping all in your face while you're trying to work out. Whether you're running or lifting weights or just being very active, sometimes it's very uncomfortable having to sweep the hair off away from your eyes. So I highly recommend you guys checking out some really cool accessories. There's a lot of things that guys use nowadays that's okay to do, like pin your hair back and put it into a man bun if your hair is at that stage. Or you guys can use bobby pins to just really tie your hair back or just make sure that at least the longer portions of your hair isn't consistently flopping in front of your eyes. So what you could do is just place a bobby pin right in the center and that will help prevent your hair to falling into your face. Or if you guys want to use a band and something like this, then this is going to be something that's allowed you to be more comfortable uh, being active and just doing your thing without having to continuously do this. Now the third tip is going to be a little bit more of an investment because while you're growing out your hair, you're going to hit these different stages, meaning that there's going to be products that are going to work for you one day and then the next day or the next week, they might not work anymore because your hair is getting longer and you need a hair product to provide something differently. So there's different products out there. There's a variety of different styling creams, of pomades, of sea salt spray, and they all have different characteristics, but also you have to consider that your hair has different characteristics from someone else's, so that's why I say it's a little bit more an investment. Because for someone with really straight long hair, a sea salt spray could work miracles, but someone who has a little bit more wavier and curly hair, 
a sea salt spray might just dry it out and make your hair super frizzy. So once you do find it, it's going to work miracles. Uh, I always like to use a little bit more of the heavier uh, styling cream as well because it just helped me shape my hair a little bit better and I didn't apply too much. I just really made sure that it was emulsified into my scalp so that I was able to control it and manage it a little bit better because my hair gets a little bit wavier and a little bit more curlier. I need more of that manageability. So if you guys are looking for a really cool uh, styling cream or hair product, then down below you guys will see the links. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your hair journey and doing well. If you guys wanna see more of me and more of my style every single day, follow me on Instagram. That's where I post every single day and I post different looks, uh, different styles. And also I do a lot of hair stuff there too. No, I don't, but if that gets you there, cool. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell button and also give this video a thumbs up. And also before you leave, let me know what your hair type is down below in the comment section and what your hair style is like in this moment. Is it long? Is it short? Is it not cool? Is it bald because you cut it? Let me know down below because I'm curious and I hope you guys found this video helpful. So don't forget to put style on everything. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.